So I want to kind of show you what was going on here after the planter went through. Uh, as you can see, the row, there's very little, very little disturbance whatsoever. We've got about uh, three inches of ground that's been a little bit worked on top. So in between our rows, 30 inch rows, we have no, no, uh, no tillage at all. So that helps us on uh, not uh, bearing weed seeds and, and uh, having all the issues that go with that. So we're going for zero disturbance or, uh, or minimal disturbance. So, okay, so we've uh, dug out the trench and, and as you can see, we've got a nice, a nice shape on our, on our trench and the side walls have been all shattered. So we're not pinching the seed and the seed is has been firmed really nice into the bottom of the seed trench. So, you know, even in this soil, I see some moisture. We're liable to get some germination uh, even here in late July. But in the spring, as long as we get that seed firmed into the bottom of that trench and it makes good seed to soil contact, then we should get germination. And then, so we've created a good environment for the seed to come up in by putting loose material back over the top. So normally on a heavy clay pan soil, what we used to see when we uh, started out is just thin slits in the clay and uh, a lot of air would get down into the uh, seed trench and we'd get bad germination or the seed would get pinched somewhere uh, between the top and the bottom and there would be air underneath the seed and that would also cause uh, root pruning and, and uh, whatnot as, as the seed tried to germinate and we just had very poor stands. But as we've gone to this system, we're doing we're doing lots better and, and just doing a better job of, uh, of getting it, uh, the corn up out of the ground.